Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today we're going to be watching a replay of me in this 62A. Now, this isn't uh, extremely special in the sense of like, you know, hitting a 10k damage game or anything like that, but uh, it's an average game, uh, and, and the only thing that doesn't happen that's average is our whole team goes to one side. So, uh, a lot of people, when they would see a map like this, they'd start talking shit to their team and they'd say, oh, it's a loss, you know, we, we lose, because... You know, apparently what you need to do is you need to watch all sides of the map. Now, the way this this map works is they can't cap out or anything. So, um, obviously, if they want to cap out, they have to sit on the cap circle, which is in the middle of an open field. So, realistically, like, on this map, all our team going to one side of the map isn't uh, isn't a loss. So, what you're going to see me doing is you can see I'm, I'm pretty excited about this in chat because we literally have 15 players who have gone to one side. Um you cannot stop when you see this happen. This is what, you know, you typically call a lemming train. You need to push through. Now, I get sniped by an E3. I didn't expect him to be at D3. I just wanted us to get going, uh, but I take a hit. And so that's going to mean I'm going to have to sort of put the brakes on. Even though I'd love to be leading the charge, I have to sort of make educated decisions right here. So you can see, instead of just rushing forwards, given my HP situation, I've decided to hang back. Teammates are now leading because I'm obviously down a thousand hit points. Now, you're going to see how important it is for us to keep going because obviously if we don't push quickly, they're going to be able to push down the 1-2 line and get behind us. And that is not good at all. So the goal is just to take our superior numbers, kill their T30, kill their TVP and whoever else was on this flank. Uh, and you'll see we've already killed t three tanks to the price of one. That's just because we just overwhelmed, overwhelmed them with numbers. We're going to kill the T30 here. TVP might be next. Same with the T49. I actually think the 49 gets away, but... Um, you know, it's it's not a loss. We haven't lost yet. We're going for the T30. I see the TVP. I'm going to fall back. Still want to kill the uh, T30, I think, is what I go for. And then the TVP is a one... Sh well, he's a two, sh two shot for me, one shot for pretty much everyone else. And we finish him off. Right here, I'm going for the T49. Um, this is when the game becomes really interesting. Because now that we've rushed our side, the question is, what do we do from here? Well, you, you typically, if this has ever happened to you, you're going to want to play with what you team has won for itself obviously we can't go push through and cap out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back to base i don't want to be pushing into an e3 who's camoed up um and and the best like what i'm hoping right now is i'm actually hoping they're on cap because that would make them easy kills but you can see i'm going to be driving towards the middle because i don't know what's going to happen i've never really played like this uh except in clan wars i've never seen this in a pub game but you're going to notice that it's it's very similar i get wrecked here i make a shitty play uh but i'm putting myself in the middle of the map because if they start getting on cap i don't want it to be a single isu who's like relying on who we're, we're trusting to reset base so that's that's just my mindset right now now the game is close you can still see it's a 5-5 contrary to probably what everyone else would have thought uh there's a super pershing that we have side shots on this is the type of um like i'll talk about like creativity in a sense almost when you're playing a game no no you just try to find angles you don't you know that maybe you've never really played i've played this angle a lot so it's not you know new to me but a lot of people may have never done this like in this stage of the game it's pretty strong you can see i've got side shots on the super pershing now they've got an oho pushing into our cap i'm sort of like worried about it i probably shouldn't be it's an oho what you're gonna see is i'm just gonna stay here once i realize that yeah it's just an oho but uh, 1390 is gonna spot our team i don't know if they have many people up at k0 you can see we're down a lot of tanks and that's because the lemming trade sort of died out you can see we went back to defend the base they're able to push the north and and basically i'll just look i was looking at my map but these these guys were sort of able to outnumber our team they didn't do a very good job of using the ridge for cover uh and and they ended up dying so that's something that's later on not really something you can control you can't control how your teammates play but you'll notice i wasn't up there and and that's a really strong thing because when you're at 300 hit points you can't be leading the charge so um my play to come back worked both ways we had won our side we didn't really need to do anything and now we're sort of in this position where there's an oho behind us but we have to kill the Martian and the uh, the martian i guess and the super pershing now i'm worried about the e3 you'll notice i've got a bat shot at g9 area so i'm not worried about something coming over this ridge over here and shooting me super pushing rushes i'm going to start pushing shots into him and for some reason our is4 is yoloing the mouse what that does is it cuts off the support like when he pushes into them these guys back here can't help him so you know if if you're in that type of situation sometimes it makes sense to push people but not in this scenario because he just prevented the grill from helping him 
Right now we're sort of in this situation where we have to carry to win. It's a close game, as you can see. We still haven't lost it yet. Uh, I, I think I already said we're going to win, but I'm just saying, like, you know, this type of thing isn't an auto loss. You just have to push your side. Um, and, and they pushed into us probably the best way they could. But, uh, you know, it, that's that's how this game rolls. <laughs> it happens. So right here we've got a Batchet who just killed the Oho. My thinking is why don't we come around the 1-2 line? Um you can see I'm sort of tentative about that. There's a Scorpion who is last spotted at D7. You're going to notice a lot of my play is just from watching the minimap. Most people may not have realized there's, there could be a Scorpion there. So because of his position and because of the way they're pushing into our 69, I've decided to go back and I'm going to try to deal with this E3. There's a lot going on, a lot of quick decisions, but uh, you'll see. Now, what I'm noticing is that the bat shot is a full HP. Well, you can't see it right now, but I knew it at the time. The bat shot's a full HP tier 9 medium. He's isolating himself from the team. Uh, and, and you can see I'm saying, bat, please, you're full HP. Uh, and, and because all of the team's hit points is on the one, like, one side of the map where we aren't, uh, we're going to have to run away. The girl starts running. I'm going to start running. This is the right play. When you're... So you have to play with your team. Uh, we're going to have to leave the ISU to die. He's got 70 hit points. We have to try to stick with the bat shot. He's the guy who's got the best chance at like winning the game. He's trying to flank. Um, it's a good thought. Like That type of thing is a really good thought. But when you've got a team that's, uh, you know, I'm 86, he was 700. There's very, it doesn't make sense to take a full HP tank out of the fight. He maybe should have come up the middle. Um, but, you know, I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just, you know, making a suggestion if he's watching this video. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Alright, so right here you can see I'm looking for shots on where I thought the Scorpion was. Apparently he's not there. I was giving the Grill Overwatch. So the Grill right now is the strongest tank, not mine. Uh, I can spot, but the Grill has 750 alpha and he can actually take a hit. So what you're going to see is I'm saying all spot Grill. I had caps lock on, which is a mistake. Um, and we're we're going to see. Like, I'm happy to spot. We've got a 2 and 2 a in front of us. So I'm not really going to kill myself to scout. But uh, the the two on two a is sort of playing as bait right now, and that's really strong. Sometimes you have to use your teammates when you're a one shot. Like, what's a two on two a gonna do end game compared to a sixty two on a grill? So you're gonna see the e three is spotted. So the bat shot's dealing with the e three now. I really want to kill the e three. The reason for that is he's an e three. Uh, it's you know they're really difficult to deal with end game. So I'm just trying to shoot him in the side. I get a bit unlucky with the RNG here. And what's going to happen is I see the 2 and 2 is getting rushed by a light tank. I wasn't able to help him. I low roll the E3. I'm still not able to get shots in the light tank. Uh, we finish him off, but I maybe could have had a shot on the light tank, and that would have been really good right there. Now, some people are going to be wondering why was I able to play right here in the middle of the open. Um, it's a It was a calculated risk. A lot of people, what they'll do when they push through the zero line, we gave it up, obviously, but what they'll do when they push through is they'll come up to where the 2 and 2 a was. So... I wasn't expecting anything to crest this ridge. It was, um, like I said, a calculated risk. I just wanted to save the bat shot teammate because he had a lot of HP. Like that's what I understood, um, and and that's that's the play I was making. The bat shot's able to kill the T twenty six E or excuse, the Scorpion G who had moved, and what you're gonna find is um, the bat shot gets rushed. So. I'm, I'm not going to critique his play. I'm just, you know, talking about how the game plays. He's going to get rushed. And what's going to happen is I'm sort of like confident that he's going to get rushed by the T49 and Super Pershing or the uh, T2065, excuse me. So I'm coming up the middle. I want to position myself to help this guy out. You're going to see I'm just going to drive straight towards them when I sort of deduce that, uh, you know, I see the T49. I'm like, oh shit, he's going to get rushed right here. And so I'm coming up to help him. Obviously, he's reloading right now. So I'm pushing in. I need to try to help him. He's isolated. So they're taking advantage of an isolated tank. Really strong play on their port part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be scouting for this grill. Now, I don't want to make the same mistake that the IS-4 did. I want to make sure my grill is able to shoot these guys while I'm here. So I'm just going to play hull down. Um, and you're going to see I'm going to make a mistake that kills me. And I think it's pretty important to, to watch. So I'm just going to be hull down here. The goal is to spot for the grill behind me. Uh, even though I'm low HP... I'm in a really strong position. They would have to get like lucky to kill me, even with with HE. So you're gonna see that. I see the T49 is pushing up the 89. Um, I notice my grill isn't supporting me. So that's another thing that's important. I'm guessing right now that the T49 is is faking. I think he might try to come back up. You can see he does come back up, 
And uh, this, this is why I was sort of moving back and forth, because I didn't know if he was able to sneak back up to a6, then maybe put side shots into me or something. So right now I've got the grill out of the fight. I make a bit of a, a risky play. You can see I'm not fully held down. The rear of my tank was poking out in this point. He shoots heat at me, and I can tell it's heat by the white tracer. Um, when you're in a carry position and you've got 86 hit points, you need to watch the tracers. Because if someone's shooting HE and you've got really strong turret armor, but you're 1 HP... It's, it's relevant. So right here, I'm just want to get one shot into the T49. You can see I drive up. That's a mistake. To me, that looked like an HE tracer. It was yellow. Um, and so I'm sort of like aggressive. If I get one shot into this T49, all the grill has to do is pen a shot and we've won. So I'm a bit too aggressive here. You can see driving up sort of allows this T49 to move up and try to put shots into me. I try to miss, or I try to put a shot into me. him. I track him. Luckily, I'm going to try to put a second blind shot into him and uh, somehow he like kills me here. So that was HE, obviously. I was a bit surprised. I knew he was, um, like I expected the HE, I just didn't think it would kill me. Lesson learned, right? My mistake here was taking a hit from the T49. Obviously I'm able to say, like now, at the time I wasn't aware of this. So right now we've got the grill who's able to, uh, in a carry position, and we can go watch that for a bit. The 2 and 2 aces keep up the good work, but even though I sort of threw him up the gun, the uh, grill is asking if, what's if the t49 has a derp i say no so when you're in a position like this you can see the replay's a bit bugged but when you're in a position like this it's smart to be polite to teammates um maybe give them some advice you don't want to micromanage someone though uh you can see i'm just thinking out loud for the grill because sometimes you know it, it'll get him thinking um it's important not to be rude and it's important not to try to control him what you'll sometimes find when you're trying to carry a game is xyz pub you will start telling you how to play your tank and like you're trying to play the game or read the chat and guess where this t49 is going it's not a very good situation to be in um so i'm just thinking out loud i'm giving the grill thoughts i'm trying to be as as not overbearing as possible you can see he spots the t49 doing what i suggested and we win the game with a minute left so um you know this i'm gonna go talk about it on the end plates and whatnot i did 5k damage the girl carried me though um and uh yeah let's go look at the uh map tactic Alrighty, so this is a i wouldn't say it's a fairly common occurrence but from reading my youtube comments it's very common for teams to all go one direction uh that's a fucking boy band by the way um what you're gonna find like i showed in the replay is that you know it's not consistent you sort of need teammates who won't stop just pushing your side is really really strong we were able to clear out and use this ridge the majority of the game was played and won using this ridge here and the ridges on this side of the map the whole team went there i went with them it would have been stupid like okay i'm not trying to insult someone who goes the one who goes to the weak side but what you're gonna find is that when you play the weak side you're you're gonna be against like five tanks so let's pretend i had gone to this side in my medium tank and then i don't know how many heavies they had but let's say they had three heavies right i'm not gonna win even though i've got you know 4k recent win aid and whatever else my stats are um I can't win a 3v1. The, the the key to being a good player is putting yourself in fights or positions that you can win. So I know my ability. I know that, you know, I'm not going to win a 3v1. So I don't take those fights. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I simply went to the stronger side of the map. We can delete these guys here. Um, and I just did my best to make sure we were able to push. But at the same time, I was keeping my hit points for the end game because obviously in a public game, you can't... Uh, you know, you need your hit points to carry a game because you can't really rely on your teammates all the time. So that's that's how you should play when, you're, when your whole team goes one side. If they stop, so for example, if my team had stopped, I, I'll use the tank icons because I like them. Um, if my team had just stopped right here, so let's say all 15 tanks were like in these locations just doing nothing, um, the way you, this would be a loss because what would typically happen is the enemy would put tanks up here very easy shots on this guy this guy and then once once these guys are cleared out they could very easily sort of push up this um and and then suddenly your your team is like in this square and there's not much they can do so the the, the reason you need to push is so you're not surrounded by the people who who inevitably will generally push the one two in this case they didn't but it was still very strong for us to push and i think this replay demonstrates that you can still win uh even even if you have 15 players go to one side so um yeah i hope this replay was helpful like i'm just i just do these videos to try to help people get better so um you know 
<laughs> if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to ask. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.